anoint this vessel, God, that I'm able to teach and preach this word the way you want it done. Yes. Show up and show up, God. Show yes. yourself powerful and mighty. The devil is defeated. We plead the blood of Jesus over this setting in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah if you can't see it. Hallelujah. hallelujah. I would like to, as much as be possible in time allowed, extracting from verse 6, it says how the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members, that it defiled the whole body and it set it on a course of nature and that course is set on the direction of hell. Yeah. Somebody said, Lord, help me with my tongue. Lord, help me with my tongue. Um, we'll talk about changing your future. Thank you, Lord. Changing your future. Thank you, Lord. As I normally do, and as the Holy Spirit leads me, I like to set a foundation with some terminology, some definitions, all right? Amen. Changing your future. The Bible says, for it's setting a course. That word setting, in the uh, Greek, it means to spark. It means to ignite. And you know when you ignite something, you start something. Is, is that right? You, you have to start something. So our mouth, our, not our mouth, but our tongue. And, I, and something just hit my spirit. We were talking about uh, a particular scripture in, in, in my high school class. The answer was supposed to be tongue, but they put the answer for their Bible um, answer in their Bible test. They put mouth. But mouth wasn't the answer. Your tongue sits inside your mouth. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Your tongue sits inside your mouth. Uh -huh. The only way you speak is your tongue has to move. If you cut your tongue, if you cortisize your tongue, if you take your tongue out, you can't speak. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. The mouth is just the housing place yeah. for your tongue. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. That's See, good. and the scripture didn't say it's your mouth that calls yeah, it out of right. trouble. Yeah. It didn't say your mouth sets the course. Yeah. It says your tongue. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Amen. 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 But it says it's, it's setting, it's starting, it's sparking, it ignites a particular course. That word course in the Greek means running a race. And any of you all that may watch the Olympics, um, when they are on the ski slope or when they are on the bo in the bobsled, there is a particular course that they have to go to get to the finish line. Amen. Are you following me? Amen. There's a course that we all have to go, saints. We have to go through as Christians, as believers, to get to the finish line. Amen. And the finish line is not like the finish line of the 50-yard dash or the 100-yard uh, um, a hundred meter run are the hurdles and then you cross the finish line and get that ribbon or you tear that ribbon mm -hmm. our finish line is when we stand before our heavenly father Come on. and he say well done my good and faithful servant Amen. enter into my rest Amen. you've been faithful on the little bit that I assigned you to do down there in the place called earth now I'm going to make you a ruler over much. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. Paul said, I finished the course and I ran the race. Yes. And one day all of us are going to come to the end of this course of this race that we're running in this life yeah. here yeah. on earth. Yeah. Amen. Course, it also means a career or an occupation. And then it goes on and says the course of life that you take. And some of us, if we look back over our lives, we have taken, we have deviated from the way that we, those of us who had mentoring and nurturing parents or guardians, I don't care if it was your grandma or your uncle or your cousin, if they um, spoke into your life, if they gave you some sense of guidance and you were coming up, telling you what to do and not to do, where to go, not to go, what, and how to do it, how to say it, make sure you made it to school and they, they provided for you. I call that caretaker your parent. That's right. That's right. Man, it's something. 
I, I, I talked to some of my students who um, their, their grandparents and their aunts or uncles are, are really raising them. They're caring for them. I told them, I said, yes, you do have a biological parent that, that God used to, to release sperm and they incubated it and then they released it out of there. That was just a catalyst. God used them to get you into this earth. But now your nanny, your granny, your papa, your poo-poo, whoever is raising you, providing for you, got a roof over your head, putting clothes on your back because you don't work nowhere, you don't have a window uh, yeah. uh, That's your parent. That's your parent. Hello, somebody. We ain't going there. We're going to leave that one, okay? Uh -huh. But the key term for this teaching, y'all, is the course means a path. Amen. It means a direction, a way to venture forward. Now, y'all, please get this. Please, everybody get this as much as be possible. Things we say, people, <coughs> words that come out of our mouth affects our future. Amen. Amen. Now you guys know that we've been we've been teaching on this in this venue for quite a while, talking about your mouth and according to uh, Mark eleven twenty three, you can have whatever you say. Proverbs um, twenty eight and eleven says that uh, life and death is in the power of your tongue. Your tongue is powerful. Yes. Hello, and we we speak yes. words, man, that that are seeds according to Luke 8 and 11. And the problem is this, is that the seed is the word of God. And he yes. only gives seed to the soul. That's financial and also word spiritual. People that study the word for the sake of trying to get rich or wealthy, you know, that's the wrong reason. God Amen. gives you that word, that seed, for you to be able to release that seed yes. so it can bring you a harvest. You reap what you Amen. sow. When you Amen. sow spiritual, you reap spiritual. When you Amen. sow to the natural, you will reap things of the natural. Hello, somebody. Amen. So, when you have become a student of the Word of God, knowing that the Word of God is a seed, when you release that Word, see, you can have grass seed in your pocket and don't That's release right. it, That's and then right. you turn around and wonder why your yard is still bald. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 That's right. Good example. Right. You want to know why your life's still bald? You still don't have none. They ain't talking about bald in there. We know how to bald. Amen. <laughs> Because we live in the Word. We work the Word. The Word will work for you. Amen. But if you have the right motive. Yeah. The Bible says, labor not to be rich. God don't want us rich. He wants us wealthy. Yeah. But first of all, He wants to be wealthy with the Word so we will know how to operate the Word. So then God will have to come and honor His Word and the Word will bring about wealth. Yeah. 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 Anybody hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, so, you know, sometimes we look around and want to know why this is that happened in my life, but I look at Sister Suki or Brother Bobo over there, and man, they live in large. Yeah. And, they, and I've been in the ministry five years longer than them, and they just come in here like they got a fire in. And, and, and I mean, they'll testify about the new house and new car and, and this, that, and the other. But when you take time to talk to Brother Bobo and, and Sister Suki and all them, you'll find out that they, since they've been here under this teaching, they have gotten a greater love for God, but they have found themselves to get into the Word, and they're using the Word, they're following their leaders. If this thing has been working for my leaders, and my leaders keep saying it, keep interjecting it, every time they teach the Word, hey, a light bulb went off on my head, and I'm not trying to put you down, yeah, you've been here longer than me, but to tell the truth, you must have a little bit of retardation going on there. I got this revelation. I'm using this thing. I'm tired. As a matter of fact, my yeah. leaders said they tired it above 10%. Yeah. Well, the Bible did say, oh, taste and see. So I guess I'm going to try this thing too. And let me tell you something, sister, who been here five years longer than me. Let me tell you something about this brother who been here five years longer than me. That thing, why? Right. Because right. it's working for me. Somebody shout the word, word. Word. Yeah, I don't want y'all to think I'm just talking about tithing because I feel some of y'all spirit. Oh, y'all, no, he wanted him. That's between you and God. Okay? That's one area where we have matured in. We're teaching her. We know she's younger and she's going to carry this thing on. But one thing we have learned, man, is that our responsibility is to give you guys this and the rest of it between you and God. Lord, have mercy how we learned this. Amen. We used to be people around the corner. We were playing the FBI, the CIA, the CEO, the EDD, and ROI, and the, oh, we was doing it all. And people had the wrong concept. Really, we was doing that, man, because we cared about the folk. Yes. Yes. The folk have shown us, don't care about 
me. Yeah. Don't yell at me. Yeah. You know, some people now get phone calls from the father. I mentioned, oh, they called me and chicken up on me. You know, okay. Yeah. Let's move on. Let me get off no tangent. So the words that we speak, people, it, af it affects our future. How you talk when you're facing trouble and trials and tribulations and when you're distressed and when you're weary, it will affect, it will impact your future. Yes. Somebody say, I've got to give God. Something he can work with. Something he can work with. See, God said, I will hasten to perform my word. Hasten means to quickly. God said, if you speak my word, I run to do what you released yes, out of your mouth. Yes. Uh, as long as it is the word of God. Amen. God cannot work with, Lord, I'm, every time I turn around, there's always something. I'm tired of this. I'm, I'm sick and tired of this. And I just wish that would stop. And I, I just see like I get a head five steps and then get thrown back sick. God can't work with that. That ain't in the word. That's right. That's the truth, Dad. That's the truth. Let's move on, y'all. That's safe. Somebody say, how I talk. How I talk. When I'm in trouble. When I'm in trouble. When I'm in duress. Will come out of my mouth. Will come out of my mouth. By my tongue. By my tongue. Will charter. Will charter. The course. The course. Of my future. Of my future. Let's go to St. John, the 14th chapter, verse 30. Thank I'm going to show you something. Thank you for your word, Lord. St. John, the 14th chapter, verse 30. Thank you. Can somebody read John 14, 2 and 3 for me? Somebody that's a good reader. I don't want nobody who is supposed to wear glasses and don't have your glasses on. You're trying to read it. And it says, it says, it. You thought it was lit. Okay? <laughs> Alright? Woo! We're going to read, once you get to John 14, chapter. I want you to go to John 14, 30, Lord. Alright? I want a reader. I want somebody to read John 14, 2 and 3. Who's going to read it? Anyone? We're going to be bold enough. Come on, Sister Carter. Oh, uh, you don't have King James. You got one of them foreign Bibles. But David, you're going to read it with authority. Yes, sir. You have a man like he already is with you. Yes, he mad because you ain't slinging that cocaine and, and taking out contracts and killing folk no more. You ain't ripped no more. Rest in peace with folk. Amen. You now, Brother Davis. You Amen. man of God. Come, oh, come. Oh, oh. What do you say about that man of God, Captain Shelton? Uh, what do you say about that man of God? Uh, 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 no, and Ezekiel Moss. What do you say about that man of God? Uh, 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 Oh, uh, 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 Frederick William. What you say about that man of God, Andre? Huh? Huh? Thank you, Lord. What you say about that man of God, Lamont? Huh? What you say about that man of God, um, Carl? See, if you've ever accepted Jesus Christ, man, you got to know who you are. Amen. All right. They call themselves princes and queens and kings. We men of God. like we did the other night. But with you, man of God. Amen. You. Okay, you can have what you say. Amen. You might have poop, poop, doo doo, the mess up like that. You, man of God. Amen. Who got to wipe yourself, get up and go on. Amen. Man of God. Amen. Man of God, read Amen. John verse, uh, 14 chapter um, 2 or 3 with authority. In my father's house are many mansions. In my father's house. Uh huh. If it were not so, I would have told you. Other words, you say, I ain't lying to you. Yeah. Go ahead. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. And receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember that then, okay? Y'all remember that. Amen. We're going to ditto that right there. We're going to book them out there right there. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you a point, okay? John 14, 30. Jesus said, hereafter will I what? See, you know what? Some of y'all disobedient. Y'all went to John 14 and 2. Read along with him when I asked y'all to go to John 14 and 30. Thank you, sister. 
John 14, 30. Hereafter, I will not talk much. I will not what? Talk much. This is Jesus talking. Is it read in your Bible? Yeah. Okay. Hereafter, I will not talk much with you. For the prince of this world, he's talking about the devil, y'all. Yeah. Say who's the prince of the age. All right? For the prince of this world cometh and hath nothing in me. Uh -huh. Otherwise, he's saying that devil that's on his way, he don't have nothing to do with me. Right. Otherwise, he don't have no place in me. Right. Right. There's no way he can get edgewise in me. Right. Come on, say, Lord, Lord help, me help me to get like that. To get like that. Mm -hmm. I knew that's right. So, Jesus, basically when you go on and read verse, um, chapters 15 and, and the chapters um, that precede that, he was soon to encounter the cross. And so he was being troubled in his spirit. Yes. And so Jesus, in a time of intense pain, y'all, he didn't open his mouth. Yes. He said, I'm not going to say nothing right now because of what's going on in my spirit. And he realized that as a leader, he realized that as one who is the example setter, yes. I have to be cautious. Yes. Yes. I can't allow my emotions. I cannot allow my feelings. I can't allow even of my foreknowledge of what's getting ready to happen affect what come out of my mouth around those who are following me and I know one day they are going to be leading others. Yeah. Because what I do, they're going to do also. But they're going to do far greater than me. Thank you, sister. But let's go back to verse 1. Jesus said, let not your heart what? Be troubled. Why? Because he knew it would cause you to lose faith. He knew it would cause you to lose faith that the moment you end up in trouble, you, you're in a dilemma, the circumstance and the situation has become a little burdensome and hindrances. He knew what would happen. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. He knew it would cause us to lose faith and speak things that would affect the future. Yeah. Now, let me tell you about the future. The future just happened a second ago. Yeah. The future is a minute that's coming. The future is an hour from now. The future is tomorrow. The future is next week. The future is next month. The future is next year. Amen. And there are things that some of us have said last night, last week, that's going to affect our hour to come. Amen. Now for those of us that can't grasp this, mark right now, Mark 11, 23. Just write it down. Go back and read it. And if you believe the word of God is so, that passage of scripture is going to prove to you that the things that come out of your mouth has a great effect on your life. So he knew this. So he knew that the same devil, hello y'all, the same devil, the prince of this world, would take the words that we release, that we speak out of our mouth and cause your future, get this y'all, cause your future to be like a blazing fire. Amen. And then when it's time for you to be blessed, you're blessed. Amen. Yes. Hello. Amen. When it's time for the abundance to be coming in, you are operating in a spirit of lack. Come on, Hello, somebody. Amen. Catch this. Catch this. Catch this. When we are worn, when we are weary, when we are troubled on every side, we can say things that gives the enemy, hello yeah, somebody, yeah, that yeah. gives Satan himself place in our lives. Amen. How about saying the wrong Amen. thing? Amen. You know, I was raised to, if you can't say nothing good about somebody, something, or just period, don't say nothing at all. Amen. Hello. Amen. That's the way I was raised. You know? Now, I know some of us were raised that way, but some of us kind of like, hey, I'm going to let it rip. Uh -huh. Amen. You offend me, I'm going to cut you down to your ankles. Uh -huh. And watch this, y'all. This thing right here is tough. Yes. 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 Some of us 
know how to use this thing. I know the Bible says in Romans, uh, the, 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 eighth, the eighth chapter, it talks about how the Bible is quick and powerful and sharper than two inches. Some of y'all, boy, the tongue ain't sharper than the sword of the word of God. Oh, <laughs> Don't y'all look at me like amen. that. Amen. Thank you for the amen. But you know how you is when you ran church. Oh, amen. 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 I ain't mean to look away at you. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to God. I'm gonna talk to you. You will have to TK. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to you. Oh, oh God, have mercy. Sorry, Bishop. Oh, oh God. But the Bible says give Satan no place. Amen. You hear me? The Bible says give Satan no place. In other words, let, let me show you what happened. And I hope y'all learn from this. Right, I'm not here to pick on nobody. Um, I know they said the shoe fit wearing. Uh, here in Newton, who was an activist back in the, I ain't gonna tell you when it was, but you know, age of uh, But he said, if you throw a brick in the crowd, and whoever that brick hit, and they holler out. Uh -huh. Whoever hit, they holler out. That's right. Some of y'all need to be flipping a cop with a holler out or whatever. I understand. I understand. <laughs> But uh, I'm not here to pick on you, I'm here to help you, okay? I'm really, uh, I'm trying to help you. Trying to, uh, I feel some of the experience from trying to help you just, you know, settle in, okay? I'm not here to hurt you, I'm here to hurt you. Now, you want me to break that down for you? Uh, I'm not here to hurt your spirit, I'm here to hurt your flesh. Your flesh is a natural mind. I'm, I'm here that hopefully that word will cut yeah. you in your natural sense yeah. and cause you to go and need more to your spirit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right? That's because true. see, if any of us got any kind of sense, if we got any more than a fifth grade education, then you're smart enough to realize that you have got yes. you what you have. Yes. Yes. Got you where you are. Uh -huh. And we'll have you where you're going to be. Amen. Until you, somebody shall change. Change. Something else says, I want everybody. That's good. Uh, change. Shout until you shall change. Change! Until you change. Until you change. Yeah. Until you change. Yeah. Yeah. Change from being worried all the time and get excited about the promises of God. Amen. Change how your head hung down, looking down to the ground, and lift up your head over your gates. Yes. Huh? Yes. And look to the hills and what's coming yes. for help. Yes. Your help ain't in that paycheck that you get. Yes. Yes. You don't want to and play in you yes. and enslaving yes. you if you do have a job. Yes. That's all. You dancing and tap and, and tap, um, tap dancing and, and, and doing the Michael Jackson moonwalk to, to, to the main. That's all. That job is just a source for you to be able to go. Hello, somebody. To bring to your resource who is God. Hello. And don't get scared, all right? I ain't gonna start talking about tithes and all. Okay? But, but, but it's just a, uh, it's a source for you to bring it to your resource and let the resource bless you with it. Hello, somebody. But what you give unto him, all he want to do is just prove himself to you. But if you don't give him a chance to prove himself to you, then you just there, he right here. Because he ain't going to operate out the confound of his word. Come on, That's right. Come on, somebody. Yeah. You teach it. Michael Jackson good with a b-ball, won't it? Uh-huh. I ain't talking about a b-baseball. Come on, now. You said Michael Jackson. I meant Michael Jordan. I got to say, y'all me. I'm not calling it Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan didn't do all that thing out there with that baseball. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all help me. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Y'all understand what I'm saying? Yes. Think about it. You won't see Tiger Woods out there swimming in no uh, 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 swimming marathon. Uh -huh. The brother might drown drinking a glass of water. <laughs> but you put a golf club in that main hand, yeah. uh -huh. that boy work for something, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. Amen. Think about it. So God wants something to work with. He worked good in his word, y'all. Yeah. 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 So, so what happens is, somebody catch this, catch this, catch this. What happens is, when we get worn and stressed and toe up from the flow up, you get on that telephone, and some of y'all, I ain't going to talk about you had to push in them digits. You got this new technology now where you just push a button in your Bluetooth and say, call. <laughs> call. 
Somebody look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor, if you don't tell Jesus, if you don't tell Jesus or your leader, or your leader, come on, look him in the face and say, shut up! Somebody said, that's me. That's me. And then ye. Somebody said, that's me. That's me. 
and ye. Somebody say, that's me. That's me. Say, God talking to me right now. God talking to me right now. I'm you And that ye started to be quiet. That's what everybody is. It's on the screen, y'all. I know y'all taking time to turn through your pages and stuff. It's on the screen, y'all. We're trying to help you even then. If y'all got your brand new Bibles, you ain't had a chance to use it yet. You know, and the pages stick to y'all. It's on the screen, y'all. Come on, man. Come on, help a brother out. Look, and that ye, somebody say that's me. That's me. Come on, speak. And, and that ye, ye study to be, to be what? Quiet. Now watch this, watch this. And that ye, somebody say that's me. That's me. Come on, say study, study to, to shut up. Shut up. Yeah. I know some of y'all don't like it, but that's all right. I'm trying to help you out. Yeah, you got to study to shut up. Yeah. Yeah. If you want your future to be better than where it is right now, that's learn when it's time to right. shut, yeah. shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Amen. Amen. You ain't got to talk because it's the normal thing to do. That's what a lot of people lie. That's what a lot of people lie. That's what a lot of people lie. You're in conversation with somebody else and you find yourself talking and you want to impress folk. You want to act like you know about something and somebody else is something and that same person something that you stand there talking to and you find yourself lying. Y'all help me tell yourself to shout. Just shout, shut up. Right. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Look at here. He says study. That word study means learn. Uh -huh. Amen. Learning means to obtain. Learning means to get knowledge. Uh -huh. Learning means that there has to be someone instructing. That's Amen. right. And I'm instructing y'all today through the word of God how to shut up. Amen. 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 You're in trouble yes. because it's going to trouble you tomorrow. Yes. Amen. God, if y'all don't get nothing else, I hope y'all get this. Amen. Your today and the condition and the emotion that you're in today, if you let it dictate to this old nasty, wicked tongue, uh -huh. something about your tomorrow and your weeks, months, and years to come is going to be far worse than All what right. it's supposed to be. All right. All right. Unless you learn how to shut up when you're in trouble. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, 